Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Facebook ads attribution setting and the options that you want to be using in your Facebook ad campaigns. Now, attribution setting is something I've had tons of questions about. It's something that's changed a lot recently. Um, there was a first round of changes on the 19th of January when Facebook was making changes to attribution in preparation for the iOS 14 um, update. Then when actually iOS 14.5 was released at the end of April, um, it changed again. So there's been tons of changes to attribution. We've done a lot of testing as a Facebook ads agency. We've tested this in our clients' accounts a whole ton. And I think we're pretty confident now in the best approach. And that's why I'm now creating a video on it because I want to share with you guys what we've done, what's worked, and what I think you should be doing to get the best results possible, which is of course what my uh, my content is all about. Now, before I get into it, I wanna very quickly ask you to smash that like button and of course subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't done so already. I release Facebook advertising related content all the time. Facebook ads is changing so much right now that if you wanna stay up to date and know the latest things and the best approaches as they change, being subscribed to my channel um, is really going to help you do that. So something I would strongly recommend. Okay, so attribution settings. Let's um, let's demonstrate this. I'm going to talk through the options, what you want to do. So I'm in an example Facebook ad account here. I've got a, uh, I've created just a, an example campaign, and I've just jumped into the ad set level because the ad set level is now where we set our attribution settings. So if you click edit on 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 your ad set and you scroll down, don't worry about all this other stuff. As I said, it's just an example for demonstration purposes, and you come down to attribution setting and you have um, these options. If you don't have the window already up, you might just need to click a little edit button and it'll bring this these options up. So you can see that we have one day click, seven day click, one day click or view, and seven day click or view. Now, to explain which one you should go for, I need to first explain what attribution setting governs and where it comes from. So. Before we used to have, we didn't have attribution setting. We had two things instead of attribution setting. We had the attribution window and we had the conversion window in Facebook ads. Now the attribution window, the default used to be 28 days click, one day view. And what that meant is that if someone say clicked on an ad of yours, if they then went on to purchase on your website or take the action you want them to take within 28 days, that person would be registered as a conversion and it would be attributed back to the ad ad set campaign that that person interacted with before they then went to take that action. So basically, provided they took that action within 28 days after they clicked on an ad or within 24 hours after viewing an ad, that would then appear in your ad account. Um, so that's what attribution window was referring to. That's now been shortened, as, as, I, as I'll explain in a minute. We also had this other thing called conversion window. Now, conversion window, instead of being where the attribution comes from, it was more around the data Facebook used to optimize your campaign. So you could set, for example, seven day click conversion window and Facebook is saying, after someone clicks on an ad and then converts within seven days, we're gonna use those people as the data set to optimize the campaign for. So if someone say, clicked on an ad and then converted 21 days after clicking previously, that would still show up in your ad account if you had the 28 day click attribution window selected, but Facebook wouldn't use that person as someone who goes into the data set that they optimize around. It was two separate things. I know that can better get, better get a bit confusing, but hopefully that makes sense. Facebook have combined them to one. So attribution setting now governs both your conversion window and your attribution window. So not only are we saying to Facebook, this is the data that I want to show up within my ad account, you're also saying to Facebook, this is the data I want you to use Facebook to optimize my campaigns. And if you, you know, it, one of the, the truths and one of the fantastic parts of Facebook advertising is that Facebook's machine learning process helps you get much better results. So telling Facebook, this is the data I want to use has a much larger impact than you, uh, than you may think. So if I jump over to Facebook support doc about this, cause there's some interesting information here and I wanna clarify the time, the timeline. So you can see right at the top here, Facebook say attribution setting has replaced conversion window and they've got more, um, information about that. You can obviously go through this support doc um, by yourself if you want, they, and they come up with the uh, with the four options I just showed you in a conversion campaign. And I should quickly mention that's not gonna be available in every campaign type. So if you've got app install campaigns, for example, as they say here, you're not gonna have the seven days, you're gonna have to limit that, that time frame. So when Facebook made the changes on January 19th, away from a 28 day attribution window, they went to a seven day click or one day view, which if we go back into our ad set level, that would be this option here, seven day click or one day view, that was their default. And out of all these four options, that sounds like it gives you the most data, which would normally be the best option. As I've already said, 
Facebook wants data to be able to optimize your campaigns. Often the more data you can give Facebook, the better results you get. So Facebook defaulted to this on January 19th in preparation for iOS 14.5 being released. However, if we go back, you can see they say here, we initially defaulted for a seven day click or one day view attribution setting ahead of the ATT, which is the prompt you've almost certainly seen by now in Facebook, Instagram, a whole bunch of other apps. Um, da -da -da -da. And then here we go. Apple has started to enforce new requirements, including limitations around view through attribution. So Apple is like, yeah, we're not really happy about the view through attribution. As a result, the default attribution setting changed to seven day click only. However, they're still making it available. So you think, okay, well, they've changed the default perhaps to be a bit more friendly with Apple, but surely we still want to go with seven day click or one day view because that's going to have the most amount of people in it. That's more data. Not necessarily the case. Okay, it's not as simple as that. Right, so that's the first point I want to make and I'm gonna explain more about that in a minute. Then we get into this section here where it says modeled versus partial data in the context of attribution settings. If you want to read through this, you absolutely can. But the important parts I'm gonna try and distill for you are, if you select one day click, your data will be more heavily modeled than if you select seven day click. What does that mean? Well, Facebook haven't told us exactly what their modeling means, but what I think we can interpret it to be is that Facebook doesn't have the real-time data that it used to have. So a year ago, if someone clicks on an ad, goes through and purchase, that's gonna show up in your ad account basically in real time. Facebook does not have access to that data um, in real time. There's a reporting delay been implemented and I've got other videos about that. Um, and they just simply don't have all the data because if an iOS user hasn't opted into tracking, they can't see it for the most part. So Facebook is modeling that data. They're basically making calculations like, we know that for an e-commerce store like yours, on average, it converts at 3%. We know that we've just sent 100 people to your website. Therefore, we would model, we would assume there are going to be three purchases, 3% 3 of those people bought. So if you go with a one day click, you will often see, you will see a lot more model data. So you will see, okay, I generated hundred clicks. Facebook is telling me there's three purchases. And then perhaps you go into Shopify or whatever the website thing you're using and you see, hang on a minute. Um, I don't have three purchases. I have nine purchases or I have no purchases because of course they're modeling based on averages and your results might differ from that massively. So the one day click option will provide almost instantaneous data in your ad account, but the accuracy is not that good. Now, I should say I do expect Facebook's model data to get more and more accurate the more time they go and the more data that they have. So they may be able to bring in other factors that get them more accurate in terms of um, your website specifically. So that's, that's, that's one day click. Seven day click, on the other hand, has less model data, not no model data, but less model data. It started with no model data at all. You can see that Facebook say here, starting on June 30th, 2021, we're also gradually expanding our use of conversion modeling to include it in our seven day click default attribution setting. So it's not, um, yeah, it used to be no modeled. Now we've got some model data in there, but what you will see with seven day click is a greater level of accuracy around the data. So when you're looking at say purchases in your ad account, it's gonna correspond more closely to the actual number that you would see on your back end um, and the actual physical number of say purchases or leads generated. But with the seven day click, you have the reporting delay. So you may see no data for two or three days. Facebook are addressing that, they're starting to bring in model data. So when you're choosing between say seven, one day click, I'm gonna come back to the view stuff in, in a minute. I parked that a second ago. But when you're choosing between the one day click and the seven day click, what you're getting with one day click is faster data but less accuracy. With seven day click, you are getting more accurate data, but it's on a delay. And it, that means you're gonna to have to take longer to make adjustments to your Facebook ad campaigns, because if you takes you 48 hours to even get, you know, it takes you two or three days to get data through from there. And you would normally take say seven days to assess ad performance, where well, you need to add two or three days onto that. And it takes longer to be able to optimize. That's the, the downside. Out of these two options, I would still recommend seven day click, which is Facebook's default. Personally, I'm not in the needing to know everything immediately game. I don't think any Facebook advertiser should. I completely understand why they do and why they get wrapped up in that and they check their ad account four times a day and they make adjustments. But 
I never, I don't think that's been a good way to approach Facebook and Instagram ads for a long time. And it certainly isn't anymore. You absolutely, in my opinion, want higher accuracy around your data, make, take longer to make your decisions, but make them make better decisions as a result. I think that's certainly the way to go. So out of those two, even though you get a reporting delay, the more accurate data is going to come through from a seven day click. And what I've heard a lot of people do is they will recommend one day click because, of course, if you were running seven day click and no day, you ran that for two or three days and almost no data came through. And then you switch over to one day click and immediately you start seeing data coming in. What you may not realize is that the one day is modeled. It doesn't necessarily mean that's really what's happening. And the seven day data would have come in. You just didn't give it long enough. So I can so see why if you run a test, you start liking one day click. Um, and we was thinking that way for a little bit at the beginning. But out of those two, it's one day click or seven day click. So then you bring up the question of, seven day click or one day view, one day click or, or view. So we're gonna discount the one day click or view because again, same logic as applies to up here with the one day click. Now, I remember I've obviously had these conversations with my team and my account manager a whole bunch and I'm like, right, okay, so why wouldn't we go for seven day click or one day view? Why did Facebook um, default away from that? That seems like the most data possible. And usually you want to give Facebook the most data possible um, to be able to improve a campaign. So for example, the difference between these two is that if someone clicks on an ad today and converts within seven days, both seven day click and seven day click or one day view will record that. But let's say someone sees an ad this morning, they recognize, they don't click on it, but they recognize the brand name. They then go into Google and Google it. They then come through to your website and purchase under one day click. In theory, that person should be attributed back into your campaign. It's also then used that person's included in the data set to optimize your campaign. All sounds good. It doesn't seem to hold up in practice. And I think going forward, the view through attribution is only going to get worse. So Facebook, basically, it seems to me like they've bowed down to Apple's pressure and defaulted away from one day view, uh, including one day view in, in, the, in the attribution setting. And from the testing that we've done, it basically seems to just send it a little bit haywire. Not exactly sure why. Um, I think that Facebook, with the one day view, Facebook's trying to track something and provide that data in your ad account that it can't really do anymore. So you get more inaccuracies and overall a worse performing campaign. I can't exactly say why, but in our testing, because we've, we started out testing the click, work that out, right? Let's te test click versus seven, let's test seven day click versus seven day click or one day view. Seven day click has performed better. And I think it's because there's just not actually as much data coming through on the one day click as Facebook would like. It's confusing things. And that's the case right now. There's only, this is only going one way. Attribution is not going, attribution capabilities are not being expanded, they're being contracted. So I wouldn't want you to go and set up campaigns based on seven day click or one day view for Facebook to remove the one day view option in three months time. And then all your campaigns have got to go back through learning phases, probably have to be recreated, all that sort of stuff. So I think Facebook kind of realized this was going to happen when Apple put their foot down a little bit more. And that's why they changed the default from seven day click or one day view. Um, and that's why I'd also recommend going with seven day click based on the testing that we've done. So it's actually, it's quite a long winded answer. Um, and the result is go with Facebook's default um, is, is what I'd recommend. But it's important to know these things because sometimes we test stuff and you absolutely don't want to go with Facebook's default and that can make a huge difference to your campaigns. And that can make a huge difference to your results and that can make a huge difference to your business and that can make a huge difference to your life. So these things are very important to test and know if Facebook ad campaigns are important to your business. Um, so I think this has been something we've tested so much and talked so much about. I'm really glad I'm able to put this out there for you guys now with a concrete uh, recommendation. But that's what I'd go with. If you've got one day click and you switch, if you're currently running one day click and you're switching over to seven day click, be prepared for your data to not look very good for a while because it's going to have to play catch up. Um, so don't switch over and then two days be like, oh, Ben was talking nonsense. This isn't as good. It won't look as good for a while. It's going to be a lag. So give it a good seven days, maybe even longer. Um, but I do think you're most likely going to see the best results 
with uh, with seven day click. One thing I should quickly mention, if you are using a different attribution window and your campaigns are performing really well, don't change it. Just because it's kind of rule 101 with Facebook ads. If it, if it, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like if things are working, don't change the setting. Now you may want to, when you create a new campaign in the future, go with a better set setup option, but don't change things if it's working really well. Okay, hopefully that has been useful. Hopefully you now know what you're doing attribution setting wise. Um, a couple of things I want to quickly mention before you go. The first is our Facebook advertising services. So my company, Lead Guru, uh, we provide done for you Facebook and Instagram advertising services. That's what we specialize in. And we create, manage, optimize campaigns for our clients. And we work out things like attribution settings and which option you want to go for and all that sort of stuff. And by doing so, help improve our, our clients' campaigns. We have a minimum budget requirement of 3K per month. If you meet that, you can book a call, free call with one of my team members. Link is in the video description below. Um, you can just book it directly into their calendar. They can let you know exactly about our service, how it works, costs associated. Um, we can find out more about your business. We Good chance we've worked with a business like yours in the past and can have experience that we can, can, uh, can help you with. Um, so yeah, if that sounds interesting, then hopefully you go ahead and do that. Maybe we'll get a chance to, uh, to work together in the future. If this video has been useful, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out when you hit that like button, it makes me very happy. Subscribe for Facebook advertising related content, updates, all that sort of stuff. I'm very committed to keeping my audience up to date. And comment below, comment below if you've got questions, comment below if you enjoyed this. I answer most comments on videos, particularly new ones. So make sure you get those, uh, those comments in. And um, yeah, best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.